Welcome to Orange County's Kitchen. Today I'm with Jamila Adams and we're going to talk about balance but no cook meals. So I'm not even sure what that is, Jamila. Why? What's a no cook meal? Well, first of all, many times, you know, we get tired of cooking. Some people just True. get tired of cooking. <laughs> However, we still care about the content of our meal. Um, in cases such as illness, when we just don't feel like cooking or getting over an illness, when it's time to eat again, you don't necessarily want to heat up the stove and do a lot of, you know, things in the kitchen. So today we're talking about no cooked meals, but balanced, um, just so that our bodies are getting the, the needed food groups that we need each day. So you have brought some really nice examples of a breakfast, lunch, and a snack, mm -hmm. um, all no cook. Can you talk to me a little bit about these? I sure will. But first, can I tell you a little bit about why we shouldn't skip those meals? Yes. Um, sure. Meals in general provide our bodies with the energy that we need. And sometimes when we don't eat, we sometimes feel sluggish, cranky, develop headaches. Also, when our blood um, sugars aren't steady, we just can't seem to get the day going quite well. So we chose balanced, no cooked meals. And for breakfast, an example here is this parfait. So that, tell me a little bit about that. It looks so pretty, good enough to eat. <laughs> yeah. So well, what makes a meal balanced is that it has at least three of our five food groups. Mm -hmm. Do you remember our food groups? I do. Uh, yeah meat and dairy, vegetables mm -hmm. and fruits, and uh, grains. Per, per, and mm -hmm. grains. Yes, ma'am. So at least three out of five mm -hmm. of those food groups are represented for our breakfast parfait here. We've got dairy in the form of yogurt, a low-fat mm -hmm. yogurt. We've got the obvious fruit. And then we've also got walnuts. Some people may use granola in place of it, but this is a very good high-protein, high-fiber, balanced meal that can kind of help sustain your blood sugars all day long. And it's no cook, so that would no be easy cook. to prepare if somebody wasn't feeling like cooking. Exactly. And then you have a nice looking lunch here, mm -hmm. and that's, what is that? That's a chicken salad. Mm -hmm. um, the chicken is our protein there. We've got the, the lettuce bed all around representing our vegetables, and then our whole grain crackers. So you, what you're saying is your goal is to have at least three of the food groups. A minimum any, of three. Anything that mm -hmm. we eat, any meal or snack. More food groups represented is always best, but if there's a minimum requirement for a meal, you want to at least have three there. Good. And mm -hmm. then, of course, we have a nice looking snack here, too. Yeah, snacks so, are, are just, um, they're kind of our in-between. They help mm -hmm. to sustain us between our different meals. Mm -hmm. So a snack doesn't necessarily have to be as, you know, dense as, uh, dense. yes, mm -hmm. as, well, we want to keep the nutrients there, but it doesn't have to be as calorie or energy dense mm -hmm. as our other meals yes. for the day. So what we've got here is just two food groups represented, and that's um, peanut butter Love it. in the form of protein, mm -hmm. and then celery. Snacks are also a great time to get in those nutrients that we might miss on the meal. So if you're not a big vegetable eater, mm -hmm. that would be the time to do that. So you're gonna show me how to make the chicken salad, the lunch. It's really quick. Okay, good. And first, and so, mm -hmm. first we have the shredded chicken. And this looks like about a cup. About a cup and to a cup and a half. And you told me that you shredded this from a rotisserie chicken. I which did. is a good way to use a chicken. Mm -hmm. And I love rotisserie chickens. Uh, however, if you have something canned, mm -hmm. a canned chi chunk mm -hmm. chicken, you can always use that in place of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, canned chicken. I don't like that as much. but And so now I have about a tablespoon or so of celery. Of celery. Mm -hmm. And you've chopped this very finely. Yes. I'd okay kind of like a fine dice mm -hmm. myself. Okay, and then it looks like you have some green onion. Green onion. You could substitute regular onion. You can, sure. or red for a little color. Yeah, or you could not put onion if you don't or care for onion. Or not any onion. And then and man the mayonnaise. Yes, this is the low-fat light mayonnaise. Low-fat light mm -hmm, mayonnaise. To bring it all together. <clears throat> and that looks like several tablespoons. Yeah, it's and about so, a third of a cup. And you recommended a fork to mix this all together. I, yeah. Yeah. Whatever works yeah, best. Yeah. <laughs> but it does. It does actually, and it smells good. I can tell you that mm -hmm. right now, and it looks good. And so then you add the lettuce, and it's a dark green lettuce. It's not mm -hmm. iceberg. Yes. And yeah. so you've added that to mm -hmm. the plate, and then the whole grain crackers. So. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that looks good. So we're gonna put a scoop of this a scoop in the oh. in our lunch preparation, and this is about how much is a scoop? 
Um, is it about a cup or? A, a little less, mm -hmm. about a third to a half of a cup, mm -hmm. so. We'll give them a nice cup full of this. That looks awesome. Not as pretty as yours, not as perfect <laughs> as yours, but awesome. really good. I think it's great. Well, Jamila, this is a great recipe. All three ideas are great for that. I'm going to have to try this while I thank you for mm -hmm. being here today, showing us we can still not cook but have balanced meals. Yes, ma'am. Delicious. We'll see you next time in Orange County's Kitchen.